Hey everybody, I'm your man Dennis Pittsburgh. We're here at Power Auto Media inside the SEMA show with my friend Todd Loudon, the builder of this beautiful 1957 GMC truck. Beautiful work, but you know what? The people out watching want to see what's underneath it. They want to know what's inside of it. Let's talk about this pickup truck. Well, it's a LS3 engine, crate engine. It's a 525 horse, four speed automatic. Uh, we bought a complete crate kit. It's a TCI chassis. We did do uh, almost a complete all new metal work on it. About the only thing left original on the truck is the hood and uh, inner fenders, bumpers, what were chrome and black, so we had to get it straight. What kind of finish do we have on top of that beautiful bodywork? Um, it's all Sharon Williams. Um, it's their new clear coat. It's more of a production clear, but it looks pretty good as far as the shine on it. Turned out pretty good, I think, for the most part. Talk about the interior and the custom touches in there. What was what was the thought behind the process? It looks like it's something I would approve of, which is just keep it nice and simple. Yeah, um, we went with uh, pretty much just a uh, black leather. Uh, got a little bit of an insert in there, a little suede. We got a custom dash, Dakota Instruments in, underneath there. We smoothed out the dash, classic auto air. It's pretty simple in there, glide engineering uh, seat. One of the reasons we want to make sure and focus on this truck was the total cost involved chassis. Talk about how easy it was to use, suspension geometry. How's the drive? Um, you know, it was a last minute build. We haven't got to drive it too much um, to get it here to the show. Um, but everything went really nice on it. We took it apart, we uh, powder coated the frame, uh, went together really easy, really easy to adjust. It's a four length, uh, four corner uh, coilover shocks. Um, Really easy, really easy to install, and everything was right on. All the where the bolts and the cab needed to be mounted down. It was, it was pretty easy, really. Make it really easy. You know, with every build, there's always that one thing that drove you nuts, and that one thing that you're so proud of. Let's start with the thing that drove you nuts, and then we'll talk about the thing you're most proud of. Well, it drove us nuts that um, we were, had such a short timeline to get it done to be here. But um, I think all the guys at the shop that worked on this thing. Uh, um, once it was done and it was rolling on the trailer to come out here, everybody was happy. That was probably the, the hard thing. Just to finish the way it turned out and uh, the way it looks and the stance of it and, and the wheels, every, everything turned out pretty good. We did add a little feature to the uh, valve covers down inside there. We put lights inside there and everybody at the show here has really said something about it and we've had nothing but great compliments on it. All right, Don, if people want more information about this incredible build, and by the way, man, I'm just one little guy, but you know what? Totally approved. Love the truck, love the finish, and more importantly, as you said, I love the stance. If people want more information about what you do, if they want to build one of these trucks and they want to go through you, or the Total Cost Involved shop, where do we go? Uh, Ultramotors.net and uh, TotalCostInvolved.com. There you go. You heard the man. Power Auto Media coverage right here, the SEMA Show.